Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be meal prepping because this is the time of the year where it's hectic, it is busy, and isn't it so nice when you've come back from a long day at shopping or doing kids activities or just hanging out with friends, you get to come home and there's something warm and comforting and on plan in your fridge waiting for you. And this is mom life. I've got Scarlet painting right now so I can get some cooking done. I will be putting Christmas music on when I'm not filming. That's just what I like to do. Get into a vibe in the kitchen that makes it fun to meal prep. Put on your favorite music, grab your favorite drink, you know, make it fun, and also make sure that you have all your ingredients, obviously, before you start so that it can be really, really easy. Another tip that I like to give is make sure your sink is clean and your dishwasher is ready to be loaded up because if you're anything like me, I use a million utensils and I just like to use them, put the dirty ones right into the dishwasher. It's less to do later, less cleanup, and you don't feel so overwhelmed after you've cooked everything. Sit back and watch. All the recipes are gonna be linked down below. They're actually already on my blog, so you can go and grab them as soon as the video is over. Let me know which one you're gonna be making first, and let's get on into this. The first recipe is going to be my copycat Panera broccoli cheddar soup except it's low carb and it's absolutely delicious. It keeps in the fridge for a few days. It's an easy reheat. It's a good comfort food meal. Pair this with a sandwich with some extra protein. Chef kiss for real. You guys are gonna love this one and it's so easy. Again, this is a dump and go. No prep needed. Let's do it. Broccoli cheddar soup. First thing you need is some broccoli. This is about five cups. Okay, next is three cups of chicken broth. Okay, then we've got one cup of heavy cream going right in. This is what's gonna make it so velvety smooth. And then we're gonna go in with some whipped cream cheese. This is the best one, my favorite one. We're just gonna put this whole thing right in. All right, up next is half a cup of finely grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're just gonna drop in two tablespoons of butter. Now we're gonna do all of our spices right on top. We're gonna do half a teaspoon each of garlic powder, thyme, and ground mustard. And then we're gonna do a full teaspoon of chopped onion. This is so good, I love putting this on top of my bagels. And we're just gonna do a generous sprinkle of pepper and a little bit of salt. We're going to definitely taste this later for seasoning, so it's just a little sprinkle of each one for now. I'm gonna give this a mix. And then this is gonna go on high heat for two and a half hours, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. But it could not be any easier. Dump and go at its finest. And I know what you're probably thinking, like where's all the cheese? Don't worry, the cheddar cheese is coming later. I will show you exactly what we need to do, but it's coming. We still have an hour left, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. About an hour and a half in. If yours looks like this, you're on the right track. Okay, so we are at the point now. It has been two and a half hours. We are going to add the cheese into the broccoli cheddar soup. And I'm just gonna show you the cheeses that I grabbed. I got a medium cheddar from Giant. I also got a seriously sharp Vermont cheddar and uh, yeah, both are seriously sharp, but I got a white and a yellow. So I think I'm gonna mostly do these and then a little bit of the medium cheddar just to get four cups and I'm just gonna shred it myself. I feel like when you shred it yourself, it, it just makes the soup so much creamier and so much better and I would advise to just take the extra step to do it because it's totally worth it. Okay, so now we are going to break up big pieces of broccoli with just an immersion blender. This is an optional step. I just like to do it because I like um, smaller chunks. I've got my cheese here. It already smells amazing, but this is gonna make it true broccoli cheddar. Just be careful because this is very hot. Okay, so as you can see, there's still some chunks of broccoli in there, but most of it has been broken up. Now, little by little, we're gonna add our cheese in, stir until it melts, and then add more. Okay, this looks perfect. I'm gonna put the lid back on for another 10 minutes to allow all of the cheese to fully melt, and then we get to taste it. I can't wait. I 
All right, you guys. Look how delicious this looks. I can't wait to try it. Better than Panera. I mean it. Mm. It's super creamy, but it's not heavy. That's why I like it. The carbs are low. The ingredients are simple. It's cheesy. It's got the hint of broccoli. But even if you're not a broccoli lover, I think you'll like this soup. I'm packing this up because this will be the perfect comfort food. It was 30 degrees here today. I need warm soups. I didn't even need to add extra salt and pepper. It was perfect. So if you follow the recipe to a T, that's how I like to season my soups, but feel free to add more if you need to. So what do you guys think so far? Now we're gonna move right on to making some easy turkey meatballs. You could obviously make these with beef as well. And the cool thing about me when I'm meal prepping, I'm just gonna chop some parsley for the meatballs, is that when I'm meal prepping, I don't want to be bothered. I want this to be done as fast as possible and I want to move on with my life. I want the food in the fridge, but like, let's just get this over with. And I know a lot of you guys feel the same because whenever I ask a Q&A, people are always saying, how can I make meal prepping easier? And I get the question a lot from my clients. <laughs> meal prepping is like the thorn in our side, right? I love these meatballs. They are low carb. There's no breadcrumbs. You would never believe there's no breadcrumbs, by the way. If you haven't made these before for meal prepper for dinner, make them tonight. I love serving these with Alfredo sauce, marinara sauce. I love to throw some steamed broccoli and butter and just eat them like that. They're so delicious. And I think they're even better when they're reheated. And if you know me, I never say that about food. So this is one of those dishes. Bake. 375, get that going while we throw everything in the bowl and mix it together, throw it on a baking sheet, throw it in the oven, eat it. Okay, so in this bowl, throwing in my parsley, feel free to use basil if you have that. Okay, next we're gonna go in with some finely grated Parmesan cheese. This is what's gonna help bind it together and act as the breadcrumbs without the carbs. All right, then you need one egg. All right, next is our spices. We're gonna do three quarters of a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of pepper, and then one teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, Italian seasoning, and then the ground turkey, and that's all she wrote. I like to mix all of this together before I add the meat in, and then everything gets more evenly distributed. Okay, so now clean hands, rings are off, Sleeves are up. We're gonna mix this together. You don't wanna over mix it. And what I mean by that is just make sure everything gets well incorporated and then you're done. Perfection. Okay, so now I'm using my Caraway baking sheets. Absolutely love these. If you're watching this before December 31st, their once a year sale is still going on up to 20% off their site. I will link them down below. You don't need anything for this. The ceramic, Oven's ready. The ceramic nonstick coating on here, you don't need to spray them, you don't need oil, you don't need anything. And I use these every day. And this is how amazing they look because I take really good care of them and you don't need all that extra oil and fat. So no need to spray this one. All I'm gonna do, I'm using a cookie scoop because it's just easier that every meatball is the same size. And then we're just gonna roll them and put them right on the cookie sheet. Okay, these are gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, next order of business. Let's make some chicken, except I forgot to take this out of the freezer. So we are rock hard right now. So I'm waiting for this to thaw out so that I can marinate it and then have it in the fridge. The good thing about this chicken recipe marinade is that you can marinate it for literally 30 minutes or you can marinate it for three days. It doesn't matter. It's the same and that's why it's foolproof and that's why I call it the easiest chicken ever because it is. So once this is thawed out, we'll 
We'll come back to this. But trust me when I say, if you've never made that chicken, you have to. So stay tuned for that. So as you guys know, when I go to cook or walk around my house or go to Target, I'm wearing comfortable clothes. I'm wearing leggings. I'm wearing comfortable, stretchy clothes that I feel confident in, but that I also love. So today I thought it would be really fun to show you what I got from Halara. It's a company that I recently found and I'm obsessed. So this video today is actually sponsored by Halara and I couldn't be any happier because these are clothes that just fit into my lifestyle perfectly. Whether you're someone who loves going to the gym or you just love comfortable clothes, these are for you. You guys, I cheated. I already tried some stuff on and I'm shook. I think I have a favorite. I think this outfit, this outfit's my favorite. I love it. <laughs> a traditional pair of leggings and I'm obsessed with these. The stretch is unreal, but they're so soft and they just feel like such high quality. But you guys, I know what the prices are. These are so affordable. They feel like the expensive leggings that are in my closet right now. What? These fit perfectly. You guys, pockets. Are you joking? These are so comfortable and they're so soft and smooth. They suck you in in all the right places. Yes, these are a winner. They are not see-through at all. Oh my gosh, pockets. So let's talk joggers. I'm obsessed with joggers because you can throw them on and you look put together when you're actually going out and just doing errands, like going to the grocery store, going to Target. And these do not disappoint. The color is like a burnt red color. It's perfect because it's not too loud for me, but I love it. I love it, especially for this time of the year. Again, super stretch, super soft. I love these. So cute and so, so comfortable. Look at, there's so much room. They're so comfortable. They like hug your body in all of the right ways. Oh, I love these. I will be living in these. <laughs> And then Polora has jeans too, but not just any jeans. They've got jeans that have the same stretch. Look at this waist, guys. They have the same stretch as the leggings, but they look like jeans and they feel like jeans. It's like the perfect match made in heaven. And again, these are the legs. You guys, these are the ultimate like bell bottoms. I can't wait to show you what they look like. And then I also got like a, a distressed kind of looking black pair of skinny jeans. These are right up my alley. And again, the stretch. I just, you know, when you feel these, you just think they're gonna be comfortable no matter what. I know it. Guys, look at these skinny jeans. Oh my gosh. These feel like sweatpants. I feel like I'm walking around in sweatpants. And I was looking on the website, they've got a wide range of sizes and all different colors for all of the same styles. So you could grab these jeans in a couple of different washes. So the ad that got me where I was like, ooh, I want those, were these jeans. If you loved the early 2000s and the clothing choices like myself and are waiting for them to come back and now they finally are, you need these jeans. Look at how cute these are. I paired them just really quickly with my platform Crocs because they're a little bit long, but I'm living for that. What I love is this cross top. I love that. I feel like it gives the illusion of a smaller waist and it just kind of cinches you in in all of the right places. And again, these are so stretchy, like so comfortable. Wear like sweatpants, but they are jeans. I am obsessed. You will be seeing me wearing this exact outfit come spring and summer. I just love it. I love the flare detail, the bell bottom detail, love it. And they're just super comfortable. All right, I may have spoke too soon. I think this is my favorite workout outfit. These leggings are next level. I don't know about you guys, but I love the combination of black and blue, and I feel like it just it just looks amazing, the color combination, and I love like the electric blue without being too much. They are not see-through. They're so breathable, which is why I like them. Like you can tell that you could do a lot of exercises in these, and they are going to not only hold you in, but 
you're gonna be able to breathe. Your skin will breathe. They feel very lightweight. And I love it too because you can style these in so many different ways. You could be dressy in those jeans. You could dress down in the, the leggings. Like, it's the best of both worlds. I'm gonna list all of the items that I just tried on, including the colors and the sizes that I got down in the description box. Definitely check them out. And anybody watching today, you can actually get 15% off your next order. All you have to do is use my code. It's HART15, H-A-R-T 15. That will also be linked down in the description box. Go check them out. You guys, you will not be sorry. These are the most comfortable clothes at such an affordable price point with like, Great fabric. I, I can't I can't even you guys just have to go check them out I will leave a little link down in the description box. Uh, thanks again to Halara for sponsoring today's video Okay meatballs are out of the oven I'm just letting them cool and then we're gonna pack them up for meal prep So obviously you could combine them with the sauce and meal prep the entire meal Or you could just pack up the meatballs put them in there and then assemble whenever you're ready to eat them It doesn't matter you do you whatever makes your life easier Please do that Also, I wanted to show you guys this pan. Look at, like nothing sticks. This is all gonna come right off. That's why I love this and you, I didn't spray this with anything. Best pans I ever owned. Okay, next on the list is pulling together, so easy, the sausage and pumpkin soup. I'm gonna be using, again, the caraway pans. These are just, they're just amazing. You use less butter, you use less oil, but then at the same time, your food comes out tasting better. So it's like, why not? It's the gift that keeps on giving for real. Um, and then I'm just gonna be starting off with a couple of ingredients. So the recipe that I wrote originally is with pork sausage. Go ahead, use pork sausage. Make sure you drain it well when I say to drain it. But I recently just shy away a little bit more from beef and pork, so I'm using chicken sausage today. This is the exact one that I'm gonna be using, and really, the recipe is just so versatile that you could use any sausage that you like. So this one just happens to be um, garlic and cheese. We're doing it. I am gonna take the casings off, and this recipe comes together so fast, so easy, and like I said, it eats like a meal, but it tastes better like the second time you eat it, I promise. And it heats up really, really well, especially for a reheated soup. So let's go and pull this together. It's gonna be fast. Our broccoli cheddar soup is almost done. Our meatballs are done. We're gonna marinate some chicken soon. We're doing all the meal prepping things. We're gonna have so much yummy food in the fridge. I'm so, I'm so thrilled. So this video, it benefits both of us. It really does. Okay, so I have a little bit of oil going in my pan. It's warming up. And then I'm just gonna add in the sausage, but I am removing the casings. This is probably my least favorite thing to do in cooking that I can think of right now. Okay, now I'm gonna wash my hands really well. Okay, so while the sausage browns up, I'm gonna move it around, break it apart with a spatula, and while it's doing that, I'm gonna chop up an onion. Should be one onion, but I only have two little ones, so we're gonna go with that. I've got my mushrooms here. I'm just gonna roughly chop them, and I need some garlic. So let's, I'm gonna do all that while the sausage is cooking. Okay, sausage is looking really good. I'm gonna go in with my garlic and then my onion. Let's talk about wine because we are gonna be deglazing the pan. I love to always cook with a wine that I'm gonna drink and that I like to drink and that it's a good flavor. This is my favorite. I love the 19 Crimes brand, specifically for cooking. Whenever I'm cooking, I will use their Cabernet or I will use the red wine blend. It's so good. If you guys are into red blends, this is the one. This is the one I would pick up next, just to try it. But we're gonna be deglazing with this. I did throw on an apron because you guys, I cannot cook without ruining my clothes. I'll probably still ruin this shirt. Let's knock on wood. But I have like a million aprons. This one just came out of the wash, so it's a little wrinkled, but hopefully this will save me because I get oil stains and splatter stains all over my good clothes. So we're trying to salvage this shirt. I just got it. But after this cooks for a few minutes, I am going to deglaze with the red wine. And you guys, it is going to start smelling glorious in your kitchen, I promise. And that's what this is one of those recipes that 
It's like the best air freshener. I'm so weird. Good, I've got my mushrooms here. I just roughly chopped them so that they just weren't huge pieces. I'm only using a small pack today of eight ounces because my husband doesn't like mushrooms, so we're just gonna use a small amount. This recipe is very forgiving. You need to adjust anything. The smell in here right now, you guys. It's delicious, it really is. All right, so the red wine's gonna cook down really quickly, like it's already pretty much gone, just like 30 seconds later. So I'm gonna pop in my mushrooms and get them cooking for a few minutes. I wanted to share with you guys, I mentioned earlier, when you're cooking, like, get that drink. Like, get something that makes you feel vibey, like the music, a little snack maybe, a drink. So, I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite drink. Obviously, I would love to be drinking wine right now, but 11 a.m. to, what is it, 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday? Not acceptable. So, we instead are going to do just like a mocktail. And I know you can buy cranberry ginger ale and cranberry 7-Up, but I like to make it myself. So, all I'm gonna be doing is doing half and half. So, I do the zero cranberry. You can also get diet cranberry. It is two grams of carbs for eight ounces, so that's great. And then I like to add in the zero sugar 7-Up. Oop, geez. This is why we wear the apron. And then we're gonna do half 7-Up. This just makes me think of the holidays, this flavor combo. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so good, so good. And that's what you will be seeing me sipping on for the remainder of this video. Okay, it smells amazing in here. It's about to get kicked up a notch. We're gonna add in all of our spices, and this is when you're really flavoring this soup. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Then we're gonna go in with half a teaspoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, and then this is optional, but I love to add crushed red pepper. I'm gonna do a little less than half a teaspoon. Mix this all around, toast up those spices. Get everything really well incorporated. Could stop right here and stuff some mushrooms, top them with some cheese, and have a good day, really. But we're gonna make a soup. Okay, so next you're gonna need a full container of chicken stock, four cups, and then we're gonna be using the star of the show, the pumpkin. And if you're hesitant about this soup because you're like, ooh, pumpkin, I don't know, it doesn't taste like anything in your soup. It actually just makes the texture so velvety and creamy and just a decadent soup that has that umami flavor where you're like, what is that? It's the pumpkin. But what you're gonna wanna look for in your store is something like this. So it is 100% pure pumpkin. You don't want pumpkin pie. You want the only ingredient to be pumpkin. <laughs> and actually, if you look at the nutritional information, it's, it's fairly low carb, which makes this fit into my lifestyle perfectly as a low carb soup. But you're gonna need 15 ounces of that and then the chicken stock, which we're gonna put in next. Okay, so now we're gonna mix this in. Look at this vibrant orange color. It's so pretty, isn't it? So we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and then allow it to simmer for about 25 minutes. And then we're gonna add in some heavy cream just to boost up the luxurious soup that this is. And then I'm gonna tell you guys how I like to garnish it. And I think this might be my dinner for tonight because if you're meal prepping, something that you're making has to be tonight's dinner, right? Isn't that like the rule? So I think this is what we're gonna have. And I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You guys have to make this. You have to. That's your homework. Okay, so our soup looks amazing. It's the perfect amount of thickness. It's, the color is just phenomenal. It's, it could be perfect like this, but we're gonna, again, we're kicking it up a notch. We're gonna do some heavy cream. We're gonna do one cup. That's it, guys. This has to just simmer you know, get delicious for another 15 minutes-ish, and then you're ready to serve. Or if you're doing this for meal prep, turn the heat off, let it, you know, cool down a little bit before you pack it up for the fridge, but that's it. 
see, that's how easy this can be. And when you taste it, you will think, no, it can't be this easy, but it is. It always is with me. <laughs> if it feels too easy, it is, <laughs> but it's also delicious. Okay, we're still wearing the apron because this is the time when the messes happen, especially during case test. This is so good. I love to top the sausage and pumpkin soup with a little bit of thick cut mozzarella cheese and green onion scallions. Whew. Combo perfection. Let's go in. Ooh, it's super thick and creamy. I can already tell just putting my spoon in. I did add a little bit of salt and pepper on this. Salt and pepper this to taste. Shut up. You guys, no matter how many times I make this recipe, it's it surprises me every time by how freaking good it is. It really does. I wanna get a big piece of mozzarella in this next bite. Whoa. It's so good. Absolutely delicious. This is a winner. This is dinner tonight. All right, now let's prep the best chicken ever. So you're gonna need chicken breast, you could use thighs too. I'm gonna be using my chicken marinade. Now I like to make this in bulk and just keep it in a mason jar because then I can just sprinkle it on, but I will leave the full recipe down in the description box, don't worry. And then this is my little setups for the fridge. So I like to use one of these little just containers and then I have a storage bag or a freezer bag and then I put some olive oil down in the bottom because that is gonna help the spice mixture stick to the chicken. Here we are going to just trim up some chicken throw it in the bag, zhuzh it all together. It really is that easy. Okay, so now let's take our trimmed chicken, add it into the bag, mix it around in the olive oil just a little bit just to get it coated around. And then we are going to, I already washed my hands by the way, we are gonna put a little bit more olive oil on top. I would say you're probably gonna need a couple tablespoons just to get everything moving around. Just keeps the chicken moist gets the spices to stick to the chicken. And then I like to be generous with the spices. There's only spices in here and I just like it when all the pieces are coated in the spice. So I rolled my bag down to begin with. Now I'm gonna roll it back up, easy, no mess. Close it, but then I'm just gonna kind of shake it around. At this point I can assess if I wanna add a little bit more spice in, which I do. Add a little bit more in. Mix it around a little bit more. And then I like to roll the bag so that there's no air. And then this gets popped right into the fridge. You could do it, like I said, for 30 minutes and then you're ready to go. You can grill this chicken, you can air fry it, you can bake it, you can grill pan it, you can saute it. I use it in so many different recipes. It's actually insane. And if you're not ready to make this right away but you know you're gonna want to in the future, you just can sit in the fridge for two or three days and then you can grill it when you're ready. You can also take this after it's been marinated and bake it, cook it however you want to, and then these cooked pieces of chicken can also be used as meal prep in the fridge. So this is a winner no matter how you look at it, for real. And I've had so many people reach out to me after I put up this video, or a dedicated video about this chicken, and everyone's like, wow, that was so easy and that was the best chicken I ever had. And I'm like, yes. We are one in the same people. And then just to give you some ideas for this chicken. So once it's cooked, you could use it in my broccoli and chicken Alfredo. So delicious. You could put it on top of a grilled chicken salad. You can make chicken salad with mayo with this chicken. It's so delicious. You could chop it up and put it in a on a pizza, which I love doing. It's like the perfect chicken that you can like use in so many different ways. I've added it to Asian dishes and just added soy sauce to it. It's truly the best spiced chicken and it's it can go in all different directions and all different flavors. Let me know down in the comments how you use this chicken so we can spread the word because the more uses for easy chicken, the better. I hope you guys had fun meal prepping with me. I hope you gave, I hope it gave you some positive vibes that like meal prepping doesn't have to suck. It can be fun. And the food that you can have at the end, ready for you in the fridge, is always worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check down below to all the links to the recipes. Check out Halara. Get yourself some new activewear at an affordable price point. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Scarlett, do you wanna have some soup?
Do you want to have some soup? 